over in the Drake University area right now. So without further ado, let's find out where Jackie is. And we just tease as to what she's going to be talking about. What's going on, Jackie? Yeah, that's right. How about an amazing way to start your morning on this Thursday? We are in the Turner Center here at Drake University, but we're here to talk about the Turner Center Jazz Orchestra, who has a very special performance tonight. Why? Because they brought in someone pretty special that we have an opportunity not only to meet this morning, but also to listen to, as you can hear on the keys. And we're talking about about a multi Grammy nominated jazz pianist who is also a composer, an arranger, a producer, and we're talking about Jeffrey Keezer this morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, we're up early for jazz musicians. <laughs> <laughs> we are, and, and, and he's warming up his fingers because yeah. it's a little cold a little outside. Cold, yeah. uh, but you know, you, you still have about 12 hours before your performance okay. tonight, so you have That's plenty right. of time to yeah. warm up. But we appreciate you joining us this morning. Yeah, uh, you've played with pretty much anyone and everyone who's a, a, a big name when it comes to jazz musicians. Yeah, uh, talk well, about your history and experience with that. Well, I, I grew up right up the road in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, actually. Um, and uh, both my parents were music teachers. My dad's a jazz drummer. My mom was a classical French hornist and a piano teacher and vo voice teacher. So, and being an only child of two music teachers, I just naturally fell into it myself, you know. Um, for me, playing piano was just, uh, and composing my own music was my way of expressing who I was, you know, and it's sort of stuck. So I'm still doing it. <laughs> but you, you became a master at a very early age, as a teenager, really. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say master, but I mean, it's something that I really got into. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, being you know, with a, you know, long winters, especially up there, <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, there wasn't much else to do. I wasn't really into winter sports or anything, so I just practiced most of the time and sat in my parents' basement and drove my mother crazy, you know? <laughs> Absolutely, but the first instrument you ever played? Uh, well, piano, but also drums, yeah. um, a little bit of bass, but that was pretty much it, yeah. How old were you when you started composing your, your own music? Fairly early on, like probably as early as four or five, I was just writing little songs, you know. And, and it was my dad that taught me to, to write music, to notate it, because I would call him in from the kitchen or wherever he was, you know, doing work. And I would say, Dad, come in here and write this down. And after about the third time, he said, Let me, I'm going to teach you how to write your own music. So <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone, kid. You know? Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing, but it's yeah. a world that you didn't know anything else. You just thought that's kind of what everybody was so doing? Kind of, I mean, that's, yeah, if you, you're sort of around it all the time and, and um, you know, even uh, summer music programs like the Shell Lake Arts Center up in you know, northern, northern Wisconsin was a big part of my childhood. Um, but yeah, I mean, all, you know, when you grow up with music teachers as parents and all, all your parents' friends are musicians as well, you know, when someone comes to the door, you just automatically go, oh, so what instrument do you play? You know, it could be the, the newspaper guy or anything, you know, yeah. but yeah, that's kind of how it is. What an incredible childhood, but you've continued on and done some amazing things, released uh, numerous albums. But yeah. tonight uh, with the ta uh, Turner Center Jazz Orchestra, uh, you guys are focusing on one specific legend and someone who's influenced you throughout the years. Yeah, actually, the program tonight is, uh, focused on the music of Count Basie, who if um, really my parents and, and grandparents' generation would be more familiar with his music, but he was a great, great pianist and band leader from the swing era in jazz. Um, and I actually met Count Basie when I was 10 years old. They, he, the Count Basie band came to Eau Claire, Wisconsin to play, and uh, Basie was already in a wheelchair at that point, but he was, I just remember that he was so kind to me, and, and I thought, man, jazz musicians are really nice. I want to be like these guys, you know? <laughs> Like they were, they were my heroes. So, um, you know, Count Basie was known as being a bit of a minimalist as a pianist. So he played very sparsely, which is not something that I do because I play a lot of notes. But um, to get into that feel and that 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 just those grooves and that swing, I feel is just it feels so good and it's fun to play. It's fun music that makes you want to get up and dance. I hope they make have a dance floor here tonight. <laughs> Because that's, that's what the music was, was originally for. That yeah. was the music that people went out to dance to. Yeah. We'll have to move some tables out of the way. Yeah. So that's what you can experience tonight uh, with this amazing jazz uh, yeah. pianist uh, tonight at uh, the Turner Center with the Turner Center Jazz Orchestra. But tomorrow night at 730, it's all going to be about your music, correct? That's right. Yeah, we're playing a, a trio concert, piano, bass, and drums um, with a couple of great local musicians. And uh, we'll be focusing more on music from my new record, which I have here, if right. I can plug it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Please plug your uh, latest album. Yeah, this is called On My Way to You. And what's special about this record is it's trio featuring um, a vocalist named Jillian Margo on half of it. So it's trio focused, but also with some great contributions from Jillian on vocals. But um, 
what's special about this record particularly, it was funded through a crowdsourcing platform called Kickstarter. So my, the fans paid for this album, and it's a bit of a love letter to my fans, you know, fans who have perhaps followed my career and, and wanted to, you know, hear me play more piano and more trio-based stuff. So this is what I'm doing on the new record. Okay, well, yeah. we can't leave, uh, let you leave this interview without yeah. uh, hearing you do a little tinkling on the keys. So what can we hear from you this morning? Uh, actually, I'm going to play one of the new songs, and it's called You Stay With Me co-composed with Jillian Margo, so um, I'll do my best. Even This is normally a vocal song, but I... I, I Are you going to do a little singing? No, you don't want to hear me sing. That's your job. That's not me. But, uh, yeah, I'll play a little bit of it, if that's okay. Yeah, please do. Yeah. And it's a pleasure to meet you this morning. Uh, go ahead and take it away, ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey Keezer. What an incredible way to wake up on this Thursday morning. Don't miss Turner Center Jazz Orchestra tonight with the amazing Jeffrey Keezer and also tomorrow night as well, 7.30. You're watching CWI. We're live here on Channel 23. Yay. Back to you guys. Yeah, that what a was great beautiful. way to start, isn't it?